So dear parents and students, welcome back to another video in Test Prep Card channel. I believe all of you are doing great and staying safe. So what we're going to discuss in today's video. Now today's video is different from the others video because today we are going to discuss a very different topic which is Bits Pilani or Bits Dubai which is better. So I'll tell you seven parameters on which you decide and take a final call. Today I'll not disclose you with facts and figure. I'll just tell you a general framework on which you put any two colleges and come to final conclusion. So let's start. So here are the seven major factors on which you have to decide over two colleges. The first one, the major programs or the major programs essentially it offers. The second one, enrollment size. What is the enrollment size? What is the program strength? What is the prestige of the course and the college? Where is the college located, which is the location factor, then cost and finally return on investment, which is indirectly the placements. So here I'll discuss about each of these factors, each of these parameters one by one. We'll just take these factors to these two colleges, which is Bits Dubai and Bits Pilani. Let's start. Now, before starting this video, I'll just suggest you guys that visit, have a just like a virtual campus tour of these two colleges. The link is here, which is www bitspilani.ac.in slash visit BITS. In the case of Bits Pilani Dubai, this is www.bitspilani.ac.in slash Dubai slash visit Dubai campus. So visit the campus. Why I'm telling you this thing? Because for many students, this small thing matters. Yes, that do matters. Like what is the campus size, right? Uh, like how big is the campus or how big is the football court or basketball court or, you know, or badminton court. This matters for few students, right? Because there are typically two kinds of students in here. The first one who want a lavish campus like I am Ahmedabad or the other one who just want the quality of education or simply will negotiate with the campus size and wants to do their MBA from FMS Delhi. Yes. So this do matters. You visit the site, the site which is just mentioned right here you'll have much idea that yes, where are you falling? The one who decides the campus on the basis of its size, that what, what is the size of the campus, how lavish the campus is, or simply the quality of education, or there are much factors that comes to your mind when you see these things, okay? Now, let's start with the first one. What are the major programs? Now, let's talk about the Bits Pilani. So here you can see Bits Pilani offers a wide range of courses. If I talk about in BE, which is a flagship course for this College, this is chemical engineering. Yes, they do offer chemical engineering. Then civil engineering, yes. Computer science, electrical and electronics. Then electrical and electronics engineering. Then electronics and communication, electronics and instrumentation, mechanical, manufacturing and biotechnology. Now, if you just compare this courses to the course which is offered by Bits Dubai. So in there, biotechnology is there, but manufacturing engineering is missing. So there are total of, you can just see like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So in the BE, you will have eight specialization in the Dubai campus, but there are nine specialization in the Pilani campus. Now there is B Pharma, which is missing in Dubai campus. Yes. In the MSc, there again, MSc is being, this is a missing factor in the Dubai campus, which is not being offered by the Dubai campus. But yes, it is offered by the Pilani campus, Goa campus, and Hyderabad campus. Again, in the case of MSc in general studies, now this is missing in the Dubai campus and this is there in the Pilani campus. There are a few more courses, let me tell you. Now, let me tell you about the ME, now the masters. So in the ME, there are wide ranges of programs that BITS Pilani offers. These are biotechnology, chemical, civil, now civil in the, in the specialization of infrastructure and management, civil in the specialization of structural engineering, civil in the specialization of transportation engineering, then computer science, communication engineering, design engineering, embedded system, manufacturing system, mechanical, mechanical in thermal engineering, then microelectronics, software system, and lastly, sanitation, science, technology, and management. Now, this is not in there in the uh, Pilani campus, but these are the courses, these are the major courses which is present in the Pilani campus, and this is not offered in the case of BITS, Dubai campus. In Boots, Bits Dubai, what is offered? In Bits Dubai, this is MA in Design Engineering, MA in Electrical with specialization in Power Electronics and Driver, MA in Electronics, Microelectronics, and MA in Software System. So these are the programs that is offered by Bits Dubai campus. Again, M Pharma is missing in the case of Bits Dubai campus, and M Field 
is also missing in the case of bits dubai campus although this is also missing in the case of bits pilani campus so these are the courses wise by which you can make a difference like suppose if you are targeting x course and that is not present in the dubai campus or that is not present in the pilani campus then you put a filter and you straightforward decide that yes i'm moving to this particular college now again if you are just seeing that yes both the courses are present in both these colleges now what should i do so now you just take the parameters like what is the placement scenario of those courses or what is the education quality or what is the need of that course in the market right now let's move on and discuss about the other factors but before i move on and discuss about the other factors let me announce a very important part here now this is for the nri students so for the nri students we have prepared an nri book that is related to dasa and ciwg you can download it from the link in the description below so we have a compiled set of nri ebooks that will really help you guys to prepare well for the d day right now let's discuss about the other factor now other factor is the enrollment size now let me tell you about the data here the bits pilani around 5000 students are enrolled every year in the bits pilani campus and in the bits dubai campus this is 1400 student now this 1400 means not only from be then includes master student this includes doctoral program students again in the case of bits pilani this 5000 not comprises of only the bachelor student but this is comprising of masters and phd now why i am taking this enrollment size factor here because enrollment decides the placement aspects directly or indirectly let me tell you a mathematical aspect like let's take for the dubai campus suppose there are total of 1400 students right let's take a random case like suppose 1000 students got placed with an average pay package of let's say 15 lakh rupees per annum 1000 15 lakh rupees per annum but there are total of 1400 students right so again if you just map those 15 lakh rupees per annum from 1000 students to 1400 students there will not be much difference this will be lying somewhere between less than of course this will be less than 15 lakhs but yes it should be more than 11 or 12 lakhs so this will be like a flowery thing in here right but again if i just take the that same stats to the bits pilani campus out of 5000 let's suppose 2500 students got placed with an average pay package of let's say 17 to 18 lakh rupees but when you map that entire data with this 5000 students your placements will reduced so here students you know see one thing that what is the average pay package of the college of course that will be greater in the case of dubai campus in many cases but that is not the actual scenario that is why i just say most of the times that visit and have the actual data in terms of median pay package because that will give you the exact picture right so placement aspect is here so if i just compare out of these two colleges which one should i do which one should i opt for then of course this is bits pilani campus now if i talk about for the competition point of view enrollment size is again a function of competition right more students more competition less students less competition now in the case of bits dubai campus let's take a simple example in the bits dubai there is no entrance as such anyone with 60% or above in their graduation or in their class 12 are you know entitled to apply in this dubai campus there are few other conditions like you should be passing your english examination and other things that is not a big deal right so there is no competition so if there is no competition what does this mean you have to take a call because you are smarter than me right then again there is one more thing which you will be lacking in the dubai campus is the diversity of the students right it is just like you visit a place and in that particular place let's suppose there are 1000 other students just residing there right and again you visit to another place in there suppose there are only 500 students or not take 500 let's say only 100 students so the culture that you learn from the other student or the diversity will be definitely be lacking in the second case this will be highly present in the first case so the diversity the culture which you are actually seeking for because you are going to invest your four years next four years or next two years in that particular college of course you will learn something from your peer groups so that peer group learning will not be majorly present in the dubai campus that will be majorly present in the pilani campus okay again that will be directly or indirectly related to the learning point of view as well so you have to take this thing you have to decide now let's move on and discuss about the prestige of the college now this is not only about the prestige of the college this is about the prestige of the college or indirectly the prestige of the course now bits at bits this is a brand in the market there is no denying fact like iitians bitsian has also the demand and the market value in the market but again there are few factors let me just tell you a very simple example like suppose you everyone knows xlri right xlri which is in jamshedpur jharkhand 
and Axelrai has opened its new campus in I believe Noida or in the NCR region. Now you just tell me which one will be the better one at this point of time. Of course, this will be the Jamshedpur branch which will be more beneficial, more good than comparison to the NCR uh, visit or campus, right? Because the legacy of this campus is much, much, much higher. Same happens in the case of Dubai. Same happens in the case of Pilani. Dubai is a new campus. Pilani is a very old campus. So obviously the prestige, they have their prestige. I'm not saying that Dubai in the Dubai is of course that college is under the, all the rules and regulations. This is like the top college in Dubai. But on the parallel, on the contrary, if you just compare the same college to the Bits Pilani campus in India, in India, Bits Pilani holds a very good position right this is somewhere parallel to most of the nits and in some cases you can compare this college to the new iits as well in some courses as well so that's important thing and also popular courses you have to just decide which is the popular course in terms of the return of investment right you invest 10 lakh and in return you're getting 12 lakh you invest 10 lakh in return you're getting 5 lakhs which one is better of course, you have to decide, you have to take a call. So this is a direct implication on the placements too. This prestige thing, right? Now let's discuss about the location directly. Location, location is again a very important factor which decides the learning culture, placements and other aspects of the overall growth of you, right? How? Let me tell you. Like if a college is located in X area and X area falls in tier 2 or tier 3 city, or if a college is located in tier one city. Let's take an example of IIT Delhi, which is in the, it's located in the city, in the core of Delhi, Hodgkas. It's a, you know, most expensive area in Delhi, right? Of course, so if you just see an around, if you just see the peer group, you will learn much more thing from there, right? Your, your mapping thing is also mattering in here. Like suppose, suppose you're just doing an experiment, right? You're doing an experiment and you just do an actual experiment in that area where the market need actually comes from. And suppose the same college falls in tier two or tier three city, you will not have that much opportunity, right? So location also matters. Of course, Dubai is a very fine place, but if you are thinking that, yes, if you just take a call that I'm going to Dubai campus and I'm taking a call for the Dubai campus, then let me tell you the second uh, most important factor after this point of time, which is the cost and the fees. Yes, this matters because obviously this is not only about the studies. This is not only about the studies for which you are going. This is about the other things as well. You will have weekends. You will visit the place. You will explore the place. And if the place is expensive, how you're going to bear the expenses? So here I'm asking you guys, how are you going to finance? How are you going to pay the fees? Are you taking loan? If you're taking loan, then obviously your loan amount is not going to cover the expenses that you will bear in the weekends. Yes. So on the top of institution, you need to factor in rooms, boats, transportation, books, and supplies and other miscellaneous students fees when calculating the total cost of attendance. So you have to take also this thing into consideration. There are also some factors like, see this bits Dubai, if I talk about, this follows the pedagogy of foreign universities, right? So in here you can do part-time, which is a very good thing here, but you cannot do the part-time in bits Pilani campus. So there are some added advantage and perks, and there are much higher chances that you get much higher scholarship in Bits Pilani campus and not in Dubai campus, right? Because of competitive point of view and other things, right? So this is also a very important factor. Now return on investment. So in here, I'll just like to introduce the facts and figures. So this is about the Bits Pilani campus. Bits Pilani 2020 data. So as per the 2020 data, 1498 students got placed. Let's take it's 1500 students. So 1500 students got placed. Percentage was 99% in the case of bachelors I'm particularly talking about. PPOs was 173, that is not our business. But yes, the median pay package, the median pay package amongst this 1500 students last year was 15.6 lakh per annum, which is higher, yes which is much more higher, right? As if you just see the return on investment, the return on investment is very high in case of Bits Pilani. The highest was 45 and the average was 26 lakh per annum. You can see this picture. Average, which is the average pay package is 26, but the median is 15 lakhs per annum. So you see the difference. Don't fall in trap with the average. Check the median pay package, right? Here you will find much more detail about the course-wise placement scenario. 
right? You also visit our site, which is Stress Prep Card, and you will also have much information about this return on investment from Bets Pilani campus. Now, if I just discuss about the Bets Dubai campus, so there are a few genuine feedbacks to the students, like what is the college infrastructure, what is the academics, what is the placement scenario. So in the placements, this is 4.2 out of 5, which is a very good number, 4.2 out of 5, but this can be biased, this is subjective. This is entirely subjective, this depends upon you, your research work. You have to decide, you have to take a call because once you enter into any private college, the first thing that should hit in your mind is what is the return on investment? Yes, because the amount that you are going to invest is much higher, much higher. Take an example, like suppose if you are doing MBA, if you just want to do MBA, you're targeting SPGen. So there are two campuses of SPGen, one in the Mumbai campus and one is abroad. So of course, your first target should be the Mumbai campus because that campus has built the legacy, the legacy over the past years, not in the case of international branch. Same falls with this bits Dubai right all right so now just uh, you just i have also prepared a separate video on this bits dubai is it worth it or not visit the site this this must be falling in the top of that link so visit the site you'll have more information about this bits dubai or you have to decide ultimately right so this is the return on investment so this is all about the seven major parameters on which you have to decide you have to take a call that bits dubai is better or bits pilani is better right again feel free to share your comments your genuine feedbacks about this college thing that what do you feel that no this is a good college on this parameter i am choosing this college this is bad college of course no college is bad that is your perception that is your thinking that is your demand if your demand is higher on which that college is not fitting in, then of course that college will be a bad college. So this is all about this video. I hope you enjoyed. Again, I see you in the next videos. Till then, stay tuned. Thank you.